<laughs> Hello everyone. Welcome to week eight of our steam kits. Um, I can't even believe it's been eight weeks. I've been having so much fun doing with these with you guys every week. Um, today we're going to be looking at the life of owls and dissecting some owl pellets. Uh, I am going to be showing you uh, how I dissected my pellets and then we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. Um, I'm actually going to have a link in the description below to a video that explains it really well. And um, I mean, the lady in it is amazing and she has a puppet. I, I don't have a puppet, I need a puppet. But so that's how the video is gonna go today. I'm gonna show you my dis dissection and then I encourage you to go to the link in the description below for a more in-depth lesson about owl pellets, how they're formed, and where they come from. Okay, so I have gotten everything out of the little bag and put it on the table for all of you here. We're gonna go through it and you wanna double check to make sure you have everything. We've got our tweezers or forceps, got our mask, our pick, two owl pellets, two gloves, and our identification chart here. I want us to take this opportunity right now, and I want to take it to remind you to make sure we wash our hands before we put our gloves on, and also that having a parent or guardian with you is strongly recommended for this part of our experiment that we're heading into. Okay, I have my gloves on and I have my mask on. You can't see, but I have it on. And we are gonna first open one of our owl pellets. I'm gonna put one aside for now. I'm gonna open this one. Ooh. Gross, but awesome. Okay. Second, we're gonna use our pick and our forceps to just kind of pull it apart. So let's use our pick and forceps, just using it like here. And we're gonna pull apart just like that. Wow, what's in here? What we can do is pick out our first little bones, wow. That's so cool. Look at this big one. What is that? Oh, it looks like, like a jaw. You can even see like little teeth in there and the big fang on the top or the big rodent uh, tooth. Wow. Let's see, oh, there's something even, oh, there's more. Oh, wow. I think I got a pretty good one. Look at this thing here. Okay. I think this is my favorite video so far. This is so much fun. You can tell there's also not just bones, there's a lot of fur in here too. Wow, this is like the other side of that jaw. Looks like the top. You see the little rodent teeth in the front? Wow. Now what we can do here, uh, what we're gonna do next is, um, you know, you can continue to pick all the little bones out of your owl pellet. I'm gonna stick with those that I have right now. And then I'm gonna show you um, uh, me comparing them on the rodent chart. Okay, 
So um, I might have spoiled it a little bit with saying that it was the rodent chart and not the bone matching chart, but looking at what I have here, we can start to identify this guy. And I think it's pretty plain to see. If you can see that rodent skull right there, looks very similar to what I have right there. And then you can see the lower jaw part and I think without a doubt anymore, we can see that it almost matches up perfectly with that. It's a little bit more curved. Let's look at the other bone. Let's try to identify this bone. Let's see here. Aha, it looks like this is one of the arm bones. Yeah, look how, look how similar that is. That's wonderful. Okay, guys. Um, and, uh, you know, to your heart's content, uh, can continue to pull more out of uh, your owl pellet. And then you even have a second one if you want to see if there's a different, you know, animal in the other one. Um, I hope you enjoyed this experiment. Uh, I really did. This was a lot of fun. Um, and uh, please check out the video below uh, for um, a professional video about um, owl pellets and how they're formed and where they come from. And you'll even see the lady in it um, dissect her own owl pellet. So have fun with that, and I'll see you all next Thursday. Bye-bye.